Now here, they are talking about a new point S somewhere here. But the information given is, the distance between Q and S is the greatest. What do they mean by it? If you take point, the S, the point S can be anywhere. If the distance between, let's say the S is here. The distance between the QS is this one. If you put S here, you will have the much larger distance, right? So the distance will be greatest if QS is a diameter, correct? Because the diameter is the biggest chord in a circle. So definitely QS, the point S should be on the other side of the diameter connecting Q and S. So that's why they say when the distance between QS is greatest, you need to know QS is the diameter. Now we know the center, 8 comma minus 6. We don't know this point. Maybe take it as a X and Y. So the center of the midpoint of QS is the center of the circle. So how do you find midpoint? X plus 15 over 2. Y minus 30 over 2. X1 plus X2 by 2. Y1 plus Y2 by 2. Which is same as the center. So equate them separately. X plus 15 over 2 is 8. Make X as a subject. So 16 minus 15 X is 1. And Y minus 30 over 2 is negative 6. 2 comes here negative 12. 30 comes here plus 30. So Y is 80. So the point S will be 1 comma 18. Because if it's 1 comma 18, the midpoint will be 8 comma 6. Negative 6. You know the point already now. And you know the center. Now they want you to find the equation of a tangent at this point. They want you to find the equation of this tangent. If you want to find the equation of a tangent or normal, you need a point that lies on the line. We have a point. And we need the slope of this straight line, tangent. Again, we are going to use the circle theorem. The tangent and the radius will be perpendicular to each other. So we find the slope of radius and use the negative reciprocal. So the radius means center is 8 comma negative 6. And this point. So find the slope of CS, the center and the point S x1 y1 x2 y2 so y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 1 minus 8 you get 24 over negative 7 that's the slope of the radius now the slope of the tangent will be negative reciprocal of this so it's 7 over 24 now you have a point and a slope, you can write the equation as y minus y1 equals slope times x minus x1. But whenever they say find the equation of tangent or normal, you have to read the question carefully because sometimes they want the answer in this form. ax plus by plus c is 0 where a, b, c are integers. What do they mean by that? You have to get rid of this fraction. You're not supposed to have any fraction here. So multiply through it by 24. It's 24y minus 18 times 24, which is 240. 820s are 160. So 400, 48s are 32. 432, you find not true. Equals 7x minus 7. Multiply through it by 7 because when you multiply both sides by 24, here the 24 will be cancelled. You will have only 7 open the bracket. Now put everything one side. So 7x minus 24y. This becomes plus. So plus 425 equals 0. Because 432 minus 7 is 425. That's the equation of the tangent.